and we're examining the pH scale. It's because the pH scale is a logarithmic scale, it makes an excellent mathematical study. Now, when you start this, it's going to fill it up with chicken soup, uh, which is not exciting. So we're going to let all the chicken soup out, and let's just go with battery acid. There we go. Okay. I want you to try to do some dilutions of the battery acid, so I'm going to let out just enough, carefully enough, so that we have 0.1 liters of battery acid. The pH of battery acid is 1, reading this. What we want to do is identify the concentration of hydronium ions, so these are the acid particles. This is their concentration over on the left-hand side. So it is 10, uh, sorry, it's 1 times 10 to the exponent negative 1. And we're, we are going to talk about these numbers and how to enter them into the various things because they're a little bit tricky to enter occasionally. And so we have a pH of 1 and we have, we have a pH of 1, we have a hydro and hydronium ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative for 1. Here in Desmos, we are going to add a table. Here in Desmos, we are going to add a table that will keep track of the pH and the hydronium ion concentration in moles per liter. So we'll go add a table, and I see that the hydronium ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 1, and I see that my pH is 1. Okay. And Desmos has started to plot what's going on here. So notice that I'm putting my concentration and my pH. Now we are going to dilute this 10 times. And so this is 0.1 liters. We are going to dilute it to 1 liter and see what happens. So easy. Oh, I just overshot just a little tiny bit. Okay, but that's okay. Um, okay. So now I can see that my pH is 1 times 10 to the exponent negative 2. And that is correlating with a pH of 1.99. Pretty close to 2, really. So I've gone from 1 to 2. Uh, continue that until you get about 5 points on your graph. And then we are going to do a, uh, then we're going to do a regression. Looking at this, I'm a little suspicious this is going to be a logarithmic relationship. And of course, we're in the log unit, and it's about log. So what would you expect, right? Uh, so, I am going to see if I can get Desmos to fit this as a logarithmic relationship. And so, y1 is equal to a times log. Now, I have to hit the underscore here, which is up by the 0 on my computer, shift underscore b, because we are trying to figure out what base the log is, whether it's 2 or 3 or 10. And then uh, the argument is x, and I'm hitting the underscore again, 1. And there, it's fit it, and it's given me the approximate A and B values. So find those. 